Lost Generation. This stuff right here I actually use. It's been panic bought from every shelf. And it's a little upsetting, I gotta be honest with you. This is 190 proof. It's what I call actual alcohol. But part of being prepared isn't just buying stuff, it's making do with what you have, marshalling the resources to use it as you can. So I have this cheap vodka here. It is 80 proof, 40% alcohol. Pure garbage. It's not good for what I want to do. And I do want to stress this. I've already paid taxes on this. So there's nothing questionable about what I'm doing right now. So we're going to take this 80 proof facsimile and we're going to make 192 proof ethyl alcohol. And before we do that, I'll just show you. Let's say you need to tell how much alcohol content a liquid has. Let's say you're trading for alcohol or something like that. So I shake that, how long those bubbles linger. That's what you call the bead. It's got a bad bead. The quicker the bubbles go away, the higher the proof it is. Terrible bead. We're going to take this crap, which gives you a crazy hangover if you drink it, and we're going to turn it into something that more resembles this, which doesn't. And yes, Everclear does not give you a hangover. But we're going to be doing this for disinfecting purposes. We're going to try to make some hand sanitizer. So we're going to take that alcohol up to its highest proof and we're going to start from there. I've already got this running. We've got our boiling flask in the mantle. Mantle on. We've got a, a stir in there. And I just have that in there to avoid bumping. And then we have a column here, fractionating column, which I have wrapped with foil. And those little prongs in there, they let the, the uh, water collect and drop back down. It helps separate the fractions. So right now we're heating this up. And you can see it's boiling, but the vapors aren't 100 degrees, which is the boiling point of water, 100 degrees Celsius. So this is boiling as it goes up the fractionating column. Not focusing very well. Bear with me. There we go. As it goes up the fractionating column, the water drips back down because it's too cold to stay in vapor form. And then the alcohol goes over. So the first, uh, the most volatile liquid is going to come over first, which is the alcohol. But it comes over as an azeotrope. The azeotrope is going to be 96% alcohol, 4% water, which is 192 proof. Once we get to the end of that alcohol, this temperature is going to rise closer to 100 degrees. The vapor comes through the condenser, which has a cold water jacket. And then you can see the alcohol dripping down through after recondensing. So that's going to be 96%. If you ever see anything about like making moonshine, you have to worry about methanol coming over first. And you can actually separate the methanol out perfectly using a fractionating column, although they use a simple distillation for that and they discard the methanol by feel. But the methanol is the most volatile compound. It comes off before the ethyl alcohol. So you discard that. They call it the heads. Uh, but this isn't a video about moonshining. I don't do that. It's a legal activity, of course. So we're just going to make this 192 proof alcohol for our own purposes because the stores were stripped clean. And we do what we can with what we have. That's what being prepared is all about. So right now... We're coming over with 96% alcohol. And then I will check this. I know how much I put in, so I know how much yield I should have. Once that starts to climb past that point, then we switch the containers. And eventually we'll probably run it again just to be 
just to be safe. So that's what I'm doing with my social distance quarantine. I'll update you shortly. Lost Jen. Generation. So we're gonna try to recreate hand sanitizer here. As you can see, the active ingredient is 62% ethyl alcohol. Other ingredients, water, triethanol, al amine, glycerin, propylene, glycol, vitamin E, aloe vera gel. I don't have aloe vera. I don't know what triethanol amine is, but I do have propylene glycol and glycerin. So I should be able to make at least a product that works here. It's not going to be an exact replica. Probably won't be as pleasurable to use, but I think I can make it work. Let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> So what's going to happen is, at some point shortly, that temperature is going to start to rise. It actually already kind of is. So once that starts to rise to about 90, I'll probably just play it on the safe side and change it out so I don't get much water over. And then over here, we have the finished product, which will be close to 96% alcohol. And then over here, I'm going to reuse my vape juice components, vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol. And then we're going to distribute it out, and I'm going to have to play around with a few mixtures to get the viscosity correct. So let me get that set up, and then we'll uh, try out some formulas. Lost Gen. All right, lost generation. First formula didn't work out too well. Hopefully we can get this sorted out. I'm gonna try two parts alcohol, one part propylene glycol, a few drops of glycerin. See how this works. I'm just not going to be able to get it to a gel as long as I can make it a liquid that's slightly viscous should work to sanitize Gotta use what you have I don't have aloe vera gel laying around Sounds like something a chick would have laying around You know what I mean? vape juice components though and the distillation apparatus we'll figure something out here just can't have it be too greasy VG is greasy
think that could work, honestly. It flashed off and it didn't leave the hands too dry. I think that's the ticket right there. We're in business. Now, I'm just going to mix up a bigger batch. Stir it up in this bad boy. We'll be good to go. Let's do a demonstration here. What we're working with. That's a nice clean alcohol burn. Blue flame. I don't even know if it will show up on camera actually. Nice blue flame. So you know I got the real McCoy, as they say. I'll show you the bead on this too. Should have a good bead. Alright, let's see if we can get this on camera. See how quick that cleared up compared to that vodka? Actually, hold on a second. We'll do them side by side. Vodka's on the right. See that? This has a good bead. This has a bad bead. Just so you don't get swindled when you're trading for alcohol in the apocalypse. Lost Jen. I'm out.